Hello, my dear all students. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about the answer keys of today's your social exam thirty two, which uh, code is thirty two four two. Before checking the answers keys, please match this. Okay, please match this code thirty two slash four slash two. It is set two. Okay, it is set two. Of today's social exam, okay, on of twenty five Feb. Okay, so let's start, students. Hmm. Read the following developmental goals and choose correct option of goals related to a student studying in university. Okay. So, good opportunities for research. okay opportunities to pursue higher education abroad it is not uh, means necessary okay if anyone is studying of its developmental goal so it is not like everyone uh, does not want to study in abroad hmm. higher education uh, opportunities for independence yes it is opportunities for good employment yes it is correct Read the following dialogue. Ha, so it's a, where it will be first, first option, third option, and fourth option. It is option number D. I am trying to give the hundred percent accurate and correct answer keys. But if any uh, where any mistake in any question, you can comment. Okay, so I will try to uh, correct it. Question number two: The growth of digital technology. Has greatly influenced globalization. Which of the following is its main benefit? So, increase communication cost. Uh, no, limited access to information. No, enhanced connectivity. Yes, second uh, C option is correct. Okay, second C. Third one. Read the following sources of loan carefully and choose the correct option related to formal sources of credit. Commercial bank. Hmm. Okay. Landlords. No, they give in very high. Ah, uh, government. Yes. Okay. Money lender. No. So option number first. And third is correct. So which option? A option is correct. Third A. Fourth one. Choose the correct option to fill the blanks. Okay. Uh, primary, secondary, and tertiary uh, tertiary criteria used. Organized and unorganized sector nature of employment activities. Here, which one will be the correct answer? Uh, primary, secondary, and tertiary. It is the nature of production activities. So fourth C is correct. Fourth C. Fifth, choose the odd one out from the following options regarding the sectors of economy: pilot, driver, gardener. Gardener is like, uh, I think it is primary activity, but these are from secondary. So this is these all are not same. Okay, fisherman, teacher, lawyer. Here fisherman and teacher and lawyer. These are all are not related from one sector. Engineer profession for engineer professor are related, but farmer is not. Okay, doctor, teacher, and lawyer. These see here. These all means all are different from the like primary and tertiary or secondary activity. Here also same thing. Here also so it is saying odd one out. Here in option D, doctor, teacher, and lawyer. These all are related from the your secondary activity. So fifth D. Okay. Here all are same. Here not same. Here not same. Not so fifth D. Sixth one. The World Bank's development report is prepared on the basis of which of the following? Uh, per capita income, health literacy. It is. Uh, report by the per capita income. So sixth A is correct. Okay, which set is thirty two four two? Okay, thirty two four two set two. Thirty two four two. 
Sixth A. Hmm. Seventh. Read the table given below carefully and answer the questions that follow. Data for few countries. A, B, C, D, E, F. These are countries. What your question is asking? First read. Which of the following countries has high per capita income, life expense, expectancy at birth, and high rank in human development index? It is per capita income is high in this only. Means compared to all, this is high. Life expectancy at birth and here life expectancy is also more. So the which options? Seventh A. Case based type question, easy type. Okay, eight. In which year the Constitution amendment providing for thirty three percent representation of women in the local self -govern governance system in India was made? Choose the correct option. It is on nineteen ninety two municipality election is the example of this. The nineteen ninety two eight C. Ninth, in a democratic country, the government adopts environment-friendly policies with the help of citizens and experts. Which one of the following is a positive outcome of this process? The government is capable of determining policies on its own. No, government is not capable. Okay, uh, in India, especially, it is not in democratic country. India is a democratic country. Citizens feels empowered to determine policy. Yes, it is correct. But C one also read corporates protect their own interest in determining policies. Yeah, but in not in uh, democratic countries. Okay, market focus forces also influence the government for in their interests. Yes, but not in democratic country. So here, which one? Which one of the following is a positive outcome? It is asking positive outcomes only. B one. These are also, but these are negative outcomes. These are negative outcomes. So option B is correct. Ninth. B. Hmm. Now tenth one. Which one of the following pairs is correctly matched? Uh, Rashtri Janata Dal, Uttar Pradesh. Then no, Janata Dal. No, Rashtri Lok Dal, Assam. No, Biju Janata Dal, Odisha. Yes, it is absolutely correct. So Biju Janata Dal, D option is correct one. Tenth D, other D option is correct. Hmm. 11th which of the following is an example of horizontal power sharing in indian democracy division of power between central and state government division of power between ruler and urban government division of power among administrative judiciary and army no no division of power among legislative executive and judiciary So eleventh D is correct option. Division of power among legislative, executive, and judiciary. Horizontal power sharing. It is saying not vertical. Legislative, executive, and judiciary. Horizontal. Okay, means all are in horizontal way like this here, here. Not in. No one is under anyone. Okay, all are means here. They are in horizontal way. Twelfth one. How does the Indian federal structure promote balanced governance across the nation? Choose the most suitable option from the following: by allowing states to exercise complete autonomy on all issues. Someone has shared me this question paper. I know it is blur one, but try to. I am saying what you can hear. You can match your answer uh, answers. Okay. So twelve. By allowing states to exercise complete autonomy on all issues. No. By ensuring a division of power between center and states, yes, it is okay. C also read by allowing all decision making process under the union or no. By giving more powers to local government in comparisons to state, no. So twelfth B is correct. Okay, dear students, from today's evening, I am going to start the classes for the math in YouTube. So for that. you can uh, subscribe the channel and if you are if, if you like the video so like and share with your friends also okay here what we are going to do in our classes 
means chapter wise we will do everything chapter wise in only uh, within like nine days chapter wise ncrt first we will complete in first uh, three days that means all formula some examples uh, some concept uh, every concept every formula everything okay and after that we will solve your mcqs case based questions what are most expected questions most expected questions of 2025 of math okay so don't forget to subscribe subscribe the channel and uh, share with also your friends okay uh, now next question 13 uh, 13th is 12th is done na 12th Uh, B. By answering the division of power between center and state. Twelfth B. Thirteen. Thirteenth is uh, two statements are given. Assertion and reason. You have to choose which one is the correct. The French speaking uh, community was rich in comparisons. In comparison to Dutch speaking community in Belgium. Okay. Reason. Dutch speaking community got the benefit of economic development and. Education much later. Yeah, uh, both are correct. So here, uh, this is also correct, and it is also correct, and uh, means it is the correct explanation. Also, what it is saying, the French speaking community was rich in comparison to Dutch speaking community. Really, okay. Dutch speaking community got the benefit of economic development and education much later. Means, they got it very later. तो ये दोनों सही है और इसके रीजन भी सही है तो इसका थर्टीन का ए ऑप्शन आपका करेक्ट है थर्टीन ए ओके फोर्टीन कॉलम मैच कॉलम वन विथ कॉलम टू एंड चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन कॉलम वन मिनरल्स कॉलम टू फीचर्स ओके हाँ सो हियर कॉपर कॉपर यूज इन इलेक्ट्रिक केबल्स एंड यूटेंसिल साइंस एस के ओके नो प्रॉब्लम कॉपर दिस इज ए एंड बॉक्साइट बॉक्साइट इज यूज इन एल्यूमिनियम प्रोडक्शन यस इट इज करेक्ट मीका मीका यूज इन इलेक्ट्रिक एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंडस्ट्रीज ओके इट इज करेक्ट सो दिस इज सी ऑप्शन मैंगनीज यूज इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ स्टील एंड पेंट्स ओके डी ऑप्शन करेक्ट सो विच वन फर्स्ट ए ऑफ फोर्थ A of sorry, A of third, A of third, B of fourth, C of second, and uh, B of first. So our option D is correct. Fourteenth D option is correct. Fifteen. Identify the crop with the help of information given in the. box this crop is a major cash crop in india okay so it is cash crop it is cultivated mainly in the states of karnataka and tamil nadu it is uh, known for known for its aroma so cash crop and it is major so it is uh, t okay it is t 15 a option is correct 15 a 16 A researcher in is examining a soil type which is formed by the weathering of volcanic rock and is rich in minerals. Which one of the following soils is it? Okay, so first is lactic. Oh, sorry, laterite soil. B is alluvial soil, black soil, desert soil. But which one is correct? Weathering of volcanic rock and is rich in mineral. Which one of the following soils is it? It is black soil. It is black soil. C. Seventeenth. Arrange the following events in the chronological order and choose the correct option. Okay. The Treaty of Vienna. Hmm. Okay. The beginning of a Nap Napoleonic Wars. Napoleonic Wars. Proclamation of the Persian King William First one as German Emperor. Proclamation of Victor. Ah, uh, this one. What its name? Victor Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Ah, no. Emmanuel Second as the key of it Italy. So second, seventeenth uh, option will be first one. What was happened? The beginning of Napoleonic Wars. 
in 1803 uh, means iske aas paas ki koi ye jo aapki means order hai or some events this 1803 event okay then after that uh, it was uh, the treaty of vienna i think in 1815 and th- uh, then proclamation of victor emmanuel uh, Emmanuel II as the king of Italy. It was in eighteen sixty one and it was eighteen seventy one. So which second is first? Second, first, fourth, third. C option is correct. C option is correct. Seventeenth C is correct. Eighteen. Uh, look at at the given picture and identify the name of the painter of this painting from the following options. Okay. Abindra, uh, this is uh, Ravindra Tagore or Devendranath, Ravindranath, Sutyanath. Who has done this uh, picture? Means uh, who has painted this? Abindranath Tagore. Because Abindranath Tagore was not uh, didn't uh, he used to do the paintings. Okay, so or uh, eighteenth B is correct. Abindranath Tagore. Now nineteenth. Who among the following? Organized the Depressed Class Association in nineteen thirty. Uh, who among the following organized the Depressed Class Association? Depressed Class Association in nineteen thirty. This question number, uh, this question number eighteen answer. Uh, you will, you all will comment, students. Okay. आप सब प्यारे बच्चों को इसका आंसर देना है. How did the in comment section? आप इसका आंसर लिखिए, okay? How did the British East India Company use print culture to promote its? Just one minute, हाँ. Huh? Let me check. Is it in here two times? It is printed why? It in. I think it is not. Nineteenth huh? one. Any student? Some student uh, means. Uh, किसी बच्चे ने शेयर किया आई डोंट नो हाउ ओके सी 19 हाउ डिड द ब्रिटिश ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी यूज प्रिंट कल्चर टू प्रमोट इट्स इंटरेस्ट इन इंडिया आई थिंक इट वाज और क्वेश्चन और समथिंग इन इट हां ओके 19th वन ओके लेट्स गो फॉर द 19th क्वेश्चन 19th हाउ डिड द ब्रिटिश ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी यूज प्रिंट कल्चर टू प्रमोट इट्स इंटरेस्ट इन इंडिया चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग it is by censoring the indian newspapers no by funding the regional newspaper no by encouraging the development of independent press no by using print media to spread eastern culture culture yes now also some media groups do this okay 19 d is the correct answer 20 why was the silk route considered a good example of Vibrant pre-modern trade. Choose the most appropriate option from the following. Twenty. Due to movement of silk uh, cargoes, due to flow of silver and gold, due to linkage of China and Australia, and uh, last uh, due to trade and cultural exchange. So our correct option is answer number D. Twenty D is correct. Okay, students. So thank you. Don't forget to uh, subscribe the channel because. math classes are going to begin in this channel from today only and you will get like most expected question of this time okay which are going to maybe uh, it could be asked in the exam but we will uh, solve conceptual wise if any type of question will come you will then also you will able to solve okay okay students so do like subscribe and share thank you